Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are looking at the Alfa Romeo GT V6 3 liter. This is a brand new casting for 2023. This casting first debuted in the 2023 L case in this glossy red color, which you are looking at right now. And then it featured in the 2023 Q case in this white color. I think they're equally as good and they both look great in my opinion. That's a sneak peek on what I think of this casting and car in general. I'll quickly mention that this car does feature in the 2023 Retro Races set, and it's car number 10 out of 10 in that set. I'll also mention that this is car number 185 out of 250 for 2023. Anyways, let me tell you where I actually found this car then. So I found this car in a local Aldi store at the price of £1.69. And the way I found out that Aldi stores were actually going to be getting Hot Wheels was through a Facebook group. I saw loads of people creating a big commotion about Aldi stores getting loads of Hot Wheels in and Q-Case at that. Now, no other stores here in the UK have had Q-Case yet. So I quickly went to my local Aldi store after seeing those posts and I was super disappointed to see that there were no Hot Wheels at all. But I was then looking through the comments under that post and people were saying, don't worry, the store's got a memo and they're supposed to be putting them out on Monday morning. But some of the stores didn't get that message and put them out early. So I quickly went to that store on the Monday morning they were talking about and I was super happy to find five untouched boxes of Q-Case. I went through all of them, got all the new castings I wanted, got all the recolors I wanted, including this one. And I also found two treasure hunts. However, unfortunately, there were no super treasure hunts in that box, but that's something you do come to expect here in the UK. They're super rare compared to in America. You guys have it super lucky. But yeah, here in the UK, we just don't see many of them. Loads of them get taken at the factory and stuff like that. So yeah, we just kind of come to expect. Not finding any super treasure hunts, that's okay. I don't collect Hot Wheels for the rare stuff. I collect for the stuff I like. And that's probably what you should do too. Don't get too focused on the valuables. But anyways, I'm going on a complete tangent here. I was chuffed with my finds, found everything I wanted, and I was just generally super happy. And still am, to be honest, because no other stores, as I've said, have these in yet. So these are still quite rare cars here in the UK. In about a month's time, every store will be getting the Q case. But anyways, let me give you some facts about the real life car. So in real life, this car has a three liter V6 engine which produces 215 to 217 horsepower. This engine also produces 222 newton meters of torque, converting to 164 pound feet of torque. This car also had a 0 to 60 time in just 5.8 seconds, pretty impressive for a car like this, and especially of its age as well. And this car also had a top speed of about 139 miles per hour, which converts to about 225 kilometers per hour. The price of this car when it was new is quite unclear to us and there's no real documentation of that. I couldn't find any anyway. But I can tell you that this car is valued at about 40,000 pounds nowadays and that converts to about 50,200 US dollars. But anyways, that is it for the facts about this thing. Now let's move on to the showcase of the Hot Wheels model. All right, so kicking off this showcase, then we'll first of all take a look at the side of this thing, and I'll first of all mention the wheel choice on this car. So this car is rolling on the four-spoke Rally Revolution wheels, which have been painted in chrome on this car, and this set of wheels is actually brand new for 2023. I can't wait to see where this wheel choice pops up next. Next up for the actual colour of the rest of the car then, it is all painted in this glossy white colour. This paint is not metallic at all, it's just a standard glossy colour. Next up onto the tamper work on the side of this thing then, there's plenty of it. This is premium level detail here, fantastic work from the Hot Wheels team. So first of all we do have the rear vents of this car being created through black tamper. We also do have the Alfa Romeo writing being done in red tamper, as well as the Brembo sponsor also being done in that same red. If you don't know what Brembo make, they manufacture braking systems. Systems. Next up we do have the Momo logo featuring on the side of this thing, done in yellow and black. If you don't know what they manufacture, they make all sorts of different parts including alloy wheels, tyres, steering wheels, seats and even gear sticks. Next up we do have the Agip logo also being done in that same yellow and black colour scheme. And if you don't know what they make, they are an Italian automotive, gasoline, diesel, LPG and lubricant manufacturer. Next up we do have the FLC logo being done in that same red which we've previously seen. We also do have the door handle of this car being tampered on here in black. We also do have the piece of side trim which features on the real life car also being tampered on here in black. Looks fantastic and it's very realistic to the real life car. Next up we do have this red striping which runs from the rear fender all the way to the front fender of this car. We also do have the racing number six featuring on the side of this thing done in black tampo. We also do have the Hot Wheels graphics logo being tampoed on here as well in a mixture of white and red. We also do have an outline which runs all the way around the Hot Wheels graphics logo and also the number six and that has been done in the same red the Hot Wheels graphics logo has been done in. Next up we do have the Hot Wheels logo featuring on the side of this thing 
done in red and we also do have the quadrifolio logo being tampered on here in white and black next up we also do have the turn signal side marker or indicator light being tampered on here in orange as you expect anyways that is it for the tamper work on the side of this thing then now on to the actual metal casting itself so this card does actually have wing mirrors in the metal casting. Awesome to see that detailing here. I'll also mention that the front windows on this car are actually wound down on this thing. And I'll also mention that the door handle does actually feature in the metal casting. I would also like to mention that the side skirt of this car is created through the black interior plastic. Anyways, that is it for the side of this thing. Now let's move on to the front of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the front of this car then, the detail does not stop here. We've got loads more to cover including tampo work and also plastic usage, let's get straight into it. First of all, I'll mention that the headlights of this car have been tampoed on here in silver tampo, and they also do have these crosses through them which have been added through black tampo. If you don't know what those represent, they are representing tape, which features on a lot of retro racer cars. Next up, we do have the front grille of this car being tampered on here in black, and we also do have the iconic Alfa Romeo front grille, which is almost a teardrop shape, being tampered on here in silver as well. And we also do have the Alfa Romeo badge on the front of this thing as well, done in a realistic and accurate look. That is it for the tamper work on the front of this thing then, but the detail does not stop yet, as I've already mentioned, we do have some plastic usage here. So first of all, I'll mention that the top half of the front bumper of this car is created through the black interior plastic, and that does include the license plate holder, which also features in that plastic. And the lower portion of this front bumper is actually created through the gray base plastic, very clever use of plastic there, makes this car look so much better quality definitely has this premium vibe to it. And this lower section of the front bumper does include a secondary vent molded into the plastic there. And this lower section of the front bumper also does include the front splitter of this car. I would also like to mention that there are two more indentations featuring in the lower section of the front bumper of this car created through the grey base plastic. Those two other indentations are just more vents which feature on the real life car. A detail which is not visible from most angles when you are looking at this car and it is quite a small detail featuring on this thing. I would also like to mention that you can see the hood vent which does feature in this casting from this angle. It is just an indentation, it doesn't actually lead anywhere and is not a hole or shut off in the belt casting. But it's nice to see it there nonetheless. Awesome detailing once again, this casting is phenomenal so far. Let's keep going with this. On to the next side. Alright, so now onto the next side of this car then. This side is practically the exact same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you going over everything all over again, but you can pause the video here and have a look for yourself if you're looking for something specific. The only difference which does feature on this side of the car is in the form of the fuel filler cap being moulded into the actual metal casting itself. Anyways, that's it for this side of the car, now let's move on to the rear of this thing. Alright, so taking a look at the rear of this car then, the detail does not stop here. There's no tamper work here unfortunately, but that is something that you come to expect with main lines at this price point. But, there is detail in terms of the metal casting and once again, plastic usage. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we do have the rear light of this car being moulded into the actual metal casting itself. Even though they don't receive any detail from the factory, you could easily add your own details here using Sharpie acrylic paints. We also do have the license plate holder of this car also featuring in the metal casting. Once again, you could add your own detail here using something like a permanent sticker. We also do have the trunk release button also featuring in the metal casting here. You can also see this small ducktail spoiler which also features in the metal casting and it's accurate to the real life car. Nice and neat detail there. That is it for the actual metal casting then, so now onto the plastic usage. So I'll mention that the entirety of the rear bumper of this car is created through the black interior plastic and that does include the dual X exhaust of this car which is also featuring in that plastic. Once again, amazing levels of detail there. Anyways, as if for the rear of this thing, now let's move on to the top of this car. Alright, so moving on to the top of this car then, the detail does not stop yet. So first of all, you can see the ducktail spoiler which does feature in the metal casting of this car from a top view angle. Next up, I'll mention that the interior plastic of this car is done in black. I've already mentioned this though, as it is used to create things like the side skirt of this car, as well as the rear bumper and some of the front bumper portion of this car. Next up, onto the roof of the car then, there is actually a sunroof featuring in the metal casting. It is not created through the window plastic which is made to represent the glass of the real life car. Instead, it is representing this car with a closed sunroof and hence the sunroof is actually created through the metal casting and just has an outline featuring as an indentation in the metal casting so you can see that it is there. Next up there are actually a few details featuring on the front window of this car. First of all I'll mention that this car does actually have windshield wipers. Awesome detailing there from the Hot Wheels team. It's always a shame when they don't add them to cars, especially new castings. 
so it's a super nice thing to see on this thing since it is a new casting. It's a small detail but it does make a difference for me at least. I know other collectors feel the same way. We also do have what appears to be a sun strip being represented on the front windshield of this car as well, through a textured portion of the front window, featuring near the top of the window itself. Next up, we do actually have two vents near the front windshield of this car, molded into the actual metal casting itself. And the final thing which I do want to mention is the bulge which features on the real life car's hood is accurately portrayed onto the Hot Wheels casting here. Once again, fantastic levels of detail here and a fantastic casting in itself. And you can also see the vent which features on the hood of this car molded into the metal casting from this top view. Anyways, that is it for the top of this thing, and that is also it for my showcase of this thing. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this car. All right, so now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car. I'm a big fan of this casting. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think this is one of the most solid new castings for 2023. But I will not tell you what my favourite casting is quite yet, you'll have to keep your eyes open for my year review video which will be releasing pretty soon, I'm going to start shooting for that pretty soon so keep your eyes open for that and you can actually have your say on your most favourite casting and also your least favourite casting by pressing the link which does feature in the description of this video which will take you to a google form where all you have to do is pick your favourite casting and your least favourite casting. Your votes will go towards a section of my year review video so they do actually matter. Please do take the time to vote if you haven't already and you are of course interested. But yeah I'm a big fan of this casting, love the fact it has wing mirrors, windshield wipers, both of those being there are going to affect my score in a positive way by about one point. Also love the tampo work on this thing, love the front and side tampo, it gives off a very racer retro vibe which is what this car is going for, it looks fantastic. I also love the wheel choice on this thing, it's great that they have debuted a new wheel choice on this fantastic casting in itself. But yeah these wheels suit this car fantastically, I can't wait to see where they pop up next. I can picture them being on some JDM tuner type cars and also some more retro racers. I would also like to mention that I love the plastic usage on this thing to create the front bumper section of the car as well as the rear bumper of this car and the side skirts. It's all fantastic and all just adds up to make this casting even more great. I do hope that this casting does come to premium at some point whilst I don't think it's a priority I think there would be some other castings like the new Land Rover Series 2 which should be prioritised to go to the premium line. I do think this thing would be nice to see in the premium line where it would receive you know tampo treatment on the rear of the car and maybe even some top tampo but this thing in itself for a main line is incredible value for money and I think this thing looks phenomenal. But anyways that does leave me on my score out of 10 for this thing so one of this car out of 10 it is going to be receiving a very solid and respectable and well deserved 10 out of 10 love this color love this casting it is phenomenal i highly recommend you pick this thing up if you do see it in stores it should be hitting your local stores pretty soon it's already hit here in the uk if you have an aldi near you make sure to go to it and pick one of these things up if you do see it there and for you guys watching in the us it should be coming pretty soon the q case at least and hopefully you can find one of these alphas. I know they're quite a hot item and I do wish you the best of luck. But anyways, that is it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss any new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or any groups you may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way at the end means so much to me. And I really do thank you for being it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.